So a while ago, I was introduced to this caduceus coil, which is a wide, wide wound, self-crossing uh, coil that ideally has the least capacitance in capacitance because you know there's only an interaction there, and the magnetic field is in a direction that is not constructive. It's uh, mutually inert, really. Um, so this, this green one, uh, you know, starts there. It winds around in the same direction all the way up to the end, and then that same loop comes back down and goes around. And I guess it goes this way. So it goes around. Then it goes under that one. Then it goes over that one, and then it goes under. Which, if analyzed, the, this black one is that too, but that's not so clear to see. There's the joining between the, the white and black that make that continuous loop at the end. And that's a tightly wound by pillar. This is the same thing. Um, so... This starts, you know, down here at this end. I didn't quite make them the same length. Um, but they're wound... They're actually wound in opposite directions. Uh, one's clockwise, one's counterclockwise. So, so if you start from this end and go down, this one's, clock, say, clockwise, looking at it, you know, that way's the face. So that makes this other one start at the bottom and, and wind the other way, which is counterclockwise. So, if this is just a continuous loop at the end, isn't that the same as if that went over that and over that and over that? You know, that would just be a bipolar coil, as a, you know, two layer, a two-layer coil. Unlike this one that's wound... Um, actually in the same direction all, all the way all the way along it until it comes out at the end but then at the end it would have to actually back rotate in order to be in the same direction coming down so a coil that's wound starting here and going here and going back to here is just like that um, you know because it has that same loop around the end that's continuous. It comes out and goes back down. It's just like all the other windings are out of the way it's the same direction. These, although they're they are the same direction, they are actually opposite to each other. But being in the same absolutely same direction, I can put these in parallel or per, put them in series. And that's a totally different coil. So, you know, saying that you're winding a coil clockwise and then clockwise and then clockwise and then, or clockwise and then clockwise and then counterclockwise and counterclockwise isn't really right. So, this coil that was wound here, you know, I went from here, I went clockwise, and then when I got to the end, I continued back clockwise. That makes that a, a tightly compressed caduceus coil. All three of these. So this second, this next layer, the bottom layer is green. There's two layers of green. Then this half is red, and it's patched together in in jumpers like this. And there's a solder joint somewhere. I uh, I aligned it. I tried to make it better. Oh, that one slipped. So the the first crossover is there, the second crossover is there, the third one should be here. I guess that's what slipped. Uh, I was having problems with this being kind of loose earlier and adjusting it influenced the frequency, but it's all low power stuff, so any straight capacitance affects it greatly. Uh, yep, that's what I have to say about caduceus coils. These are caduceus coils that are all wound, and they're, n and they're wound 
clockwise and then counterclockwise on top of each other. They are not clockwise and clockwise. 